Guys, if you know me and what this YouTube channel is truly about, then you know I don't really talk about football that much. I have a few videos here and there dating all the way back to the beginning of 2020, given my Super Bowl picks for Super Bowl 54, and talking about Cam Newton joining the Patriots. We all know I did a hilarious skit clowning Pat Mahomes, Andy Reid, and the entire Chiefs organization on their Super Bowl 55 meltdown. But other than that, that's it. I don't really talk about the sport as much as I should. So why today, you ask? Why is today the day I'm going to discuss one of the biggest trades that not only shook up the entire league, but shook up the entire state of Colorado? And that being Von Miller being traded to the Los Angeles Rams for some fourth round picks in next year's NFL 2022 NFL Draft. I'm going to give you guys my overall feelings on how I felt when this announcement was first announced which was utter disbelief, utter shock, utter sadness. I just thought about all the nostalgic memories that Von Miller has had as a Denver Bronco. The biggest one that comes to my mind was Super Bowl 50, when he just embarrassed Cam Newton for four straight quarters, when that defense only held the number one scoring offense at that time to just 10 points. I mean, the closest thing we've seen after that was this past Super Bowl, Tampa Bay and Kansas City. We've had a squad. That year, we had a squad. We had the no-fly zone. Chris Harris Jr., Akib Tlaib, TJ Ward, like I said, Von Miller, Demarcus Ware, Malik Jackson, Shaq Barrett. We had the greatest defense. It is talked about as one of the greatest defenses in NFL behind the 85 Bears. It was just that stacked. We had an offense as well. When Peyton Manning came to town knocking on our door, we couldn't say no to him. He bought some amazing receivers with him. Brandon Stokely, Julius Thomas, Demarius was already there. Eric Decker was already there. He bought Wes Welker. Even though we didn't win as much Super Bowls as I thought we would, watching the Broncos play was truly something amazing. It seemed like every game they had, even back in the Tim Tebow days, was something straight out of a Hollywood movie. And that was something I just could never wrap my head around. I live in Pueblo, Colorado, for those who do not know, and I'm a diehard Bronco fan. And my mom was a Bronco fan, so her being a Bronco fan just made me an automatic one. Of course, I have other backup teams, but the Broncos will always be number one in my heart. Now, down to business. I wasn't surprised at this trade. I wasn't. One, because after we won that Super Bowl, everything has kind of gone to shit for the Denver Broncos. We haven't had a solid quarterback since Peyton Manning. We've had guys from Trevor Simeon. Brett Rippian, Brock Osweiler was even brought back. Guys that aren't even in the league anymore, Paxton Lynch, Joe Flacco, who's on the Jets now. I mean, we have not found a solid franchise quarterback to save our life. And that's just facts. We have Teddy Bridgewater now, and he's doing okay. But Drew Locke lost a lot of games for us last year because of his cockiness and his utter straight-up arrogance. But ever since then... We just haven't been the same team that we've had. Another reason that being, after we won the Super Bowl against Cam Newton and the Panthers, we got rid of everybody. The Broncos didn't want to pay everybody. Malik Jackson went elsewhere. Keep to leave. Shaq Barrett. I mean, take a note out of the Buccaneers book, albeit it was five years later. Excuse me. Yeah, five years later. But they kept everybody. All 22 of their starters returned from that Super Bowl victory that they had against the Chiefs this year. And that's why they're favored to win another Super Bowl this year, if not go to another Super Bowl. Take notes from that. So the Broncos got rid of everybody, and they haven't had a winning season since. They haven't been to the playoffs since, not even to the wild card. A lot of Colorado teams tend to do this. So this is why this was an inevitable force to happen with Von Miller. Let's start with the Rockies. I'm going to run through kind of all the Colorado teams that got rid of our best players. The Rockies went into shambles since day one, since they became a franchise. They kept Todd Helton. I don't know how they did that, but he spent his entire career as a Colorado Rocky. But you had Troy Tulowitzki, who was not only a heartthrob to the ladies of Colorado, but he was a damn good player. You sent him to the Toronto Blue Jays. For what reason? I have no clue. You had Cargo as well. Best, outfield, best outfielder the Rockies ever had. They just decided, okay, well, he's good, but we're just going to give him away anyway. No idea why. You had Carmelo Anthony. 
came into the league in 2003 was it up there with LeBron, up there with Wade, up there with Bosh. I mean, that guy was a baller for the Nuggets. And what did they do? Sent him to the Knicks. The Nuggets had a squad when they had him, JR, Birdman. They went to the conference finals with Carmelo and lost to the Kobe Bryant Lakers. And you get rid of him after that? Who's running your front office? I'm actually real happy the Nuggets have kept Jokic. And hopefully they do keep him because y'all need him. That's all I got to say. And as far as that goes, that's already two teams I got rid of their best players. And then we have the Broncos getting rid of Von Miller. But as I just mentioned, we've had nothing but losing seasons. And Von Miller has had a lot of injury plague seasons. He tore his Achilles at the beginning of last year, and that riddled his entire season. And we didn't think he'd be back at 100% this year. And he even got hurt this year. So I get that Von Miller wasn't doing too much, but he also put his heart, his blood, his sweat, and tears into this organization to give them his all. He became Super Bowl MVP, and you're just going to give him away for that? That is why no one high value will come to a Colorado team because at the end of the day, they're just going to get pushed out the door for some bums, for some scrubs. That's just how it is. It's sad, but that's why Colorado teams are always in the gutter. They're always in the ditch. I know people talk about, oh, well, we don't want our teams to be bought. That's how championships are won. The Bucks did it. The Lakers did it. Patriots did it. That, that, that's just how championships are won. And at the end of the day, Von Miller is going to a Super Bowl contending team. He is going to a team that is, in my opinion, going to be in the NFC Championship games with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers with the right to go to the Super Bowl. Oh, it doesn't mean I think they'll win, but he's going to have a chance to get another ring. Whereas in Denver, they just lost four straight, barely snapped their winning streak yesterday against the Washington football team. And he has a chance to go get a ring. He wasn't going to get that chance in Denver anymore. So I'm not surprised. And at the end, he's going to get better treatment for the Rams with the Rams than we did for him. The Rams are just going to do him better justice than we did. You mean to tell me he's with Aaron Donald, Aaron Donald, and Jalen Ramsey? Whew, that's scary. That is scary. That is going to strike fear into every quarterback's eyes when they are preparing to play the Rams. Von Miller says he wants to play Sunday night against the Titans. Ryan Tannehill better get all the sleep he can because he is going to have to pack a lunch and put on a hard hat if he expects to even have a good game against that defense. All in all, guys, I'm happy for Vaughn, but I'm not surprised. It's what Colorado teams do. Might as well put me up there in the front office because I know for damn well, I would find better players. I would try and do everything in my power to build a defense around Vaughn Miller and to build a good offense to get a better quarterback. We had a chance to get Justin Fields, had a chance to get Trey Lance, but we go for Teddy Bridgewater instead, and we choose to keep Drew Locke, a guy that lost us a majority of our games. It's just what they do. Don't know what's going on in their heads, but happy for Vaughn. I'm excited he's going to be in the playoffs. And I can't wait to see a ball for the Rams. And it's just going to be fun. It's going to be fun. Like I said, it's going to be them and the Bucks in the NFC Championship game. And I cannot wait. That's it for me today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Please give me a like and subscribe. Comment on your thoughts on the Von Miller trade. If it was a good trade, if it was a bad trade, let me know who your favorite Colorado team is. Let me know if you have the same opinions. If you think Colorado teams are in shambles because they give away their best star players. It's your boy, Hollywood AJ. Keep it safe. Keep it healthy. Stay blessed. I'm out.